Hello everyone. I'd like to wish you a very happy National Customer Service Week. The purpose of this week is to heighten awareness of what it takes to be an organization dedicated to extreme patient-centeredness. Of course, our goal is to make every week at UTMC National Customer Service Week. Improving patient satisfaction is one of the 20 goals listed in UTMC's strategic plan, which is entitled Victory 2015. The keys to improving patient satisfaction are well known. Patients want quality care, clean and up-to-date facilities, and people who care and communicate with them about the state of their condition and what needs to be done. We at UTMC deliver great quality care. And in Victory 2015, we are going to improve our facilities and raise the bar in terms of the patient experience. We are going to turn the mundane into the memorable. And sometimes all it takes is the simplest of things like a caring smile or a clear answer to a patient's question. The key to accomplishing all of this is teamwork. Each person at UTMC doing what they do best for the sake of the patient and the larger team. Thank you for being a great team member at UTMC. Thank you for the extraordinary effort you give to each one of our patients. And thank you for going out of your way to practice extreme patient-centeredness. Happy National Customer Service Week. My expectation is that when I walk in the door, I give them the best of me. I enjoy making a difference in people's lives. Greet everybody with a smile, greet everybody with enthusiasm. For the last eight years, I've worked with the same group of people and we've become a family. Um, we help each other, we work together. I enjoy the interaction with my patients and their families and getting to know them and you know, they love it when they come in and you remember their name and ask about their daughter's weddings or birthdays. Trying to explain things in a simple terms instead of giving them a lot of technology that they're not going to be able to understand or that even I possibly don't even understand. I just talk in a clear, concise manner. Let them know that if they need help, they can call. I give them my email address, my phone number. I work to remember when I walk in the door that it's not about me and my concerns anymore. It's really about what the patients need and their families. When I arrive in the morning, I want to remember that I want to treat everyone here that I see as I would want my family members to be treated. I try to treat my patients and my friends in this family like, um, like I would a real family member. Treat people like I would want my mother to be treated my family to be treated. Sometimes it's the little things that make the biggest impression on them, to let them know that it's not just about patient care, it's about caring about you wholly. Being a team player is the number one priority. Yeah, I, would say. I, I agree with that. It's a wonderful job to take care of people and to help, and when we have that responsibility, we ought to do it with the best attitude we can have. Making someone feel like I would want to be treated, like my family would want to be treated, throughout their lives. Our main priority is being able to make a difference in someone's life today. I like to help people so once I know that they're happy it just makes me smile and I feel happy doing the job. I am very proud, very proud to be a member of the UTMC team. I have worked for this institution for 27 years and every day that I come here I am reminded of how wonderful it is to work for such a caring institution.